Good morning, everybody. It actually still is morning. I think it's only like 10.45 or 11. And we are attempting to get Eve groomed today. Guys, she's gonna look so different when we pick her up. And it's gonna take two or three hours. We got her short. Sarah, yeah, we got her short because the heat's coming in. She's a princess in the heat. She only walks like a block now, and then she's like done walking. What do you want to do? There's some stores over store stores. There's some stores over here. Do you want to look at that? We'll look at all this when we come back. Okay, so we walked. We're right next to a Toys Toys R Us, and we haven't seen any of the Toys R Us or Baby R Us. This is like how they're closing. So we're like, we'll just come in and check it out. Look at this, Luke Skywalker Land Speeder, 125 bucks, 50 percent off. I want it for me. <laughs> um, um, She's following us, but this would go with our Wally. I don't, it's not the same model that is supposed to be interactive with our Wally, but it's it's basically it. Oh my God, guys, they even have batteries on sale. So we're, we're literally buying batteries <laughs> for two main reasons. One, our Nikon, our long distance camera has been out of battery for months. And if you've been following along with us for nine, at least nine months now, our kitchen clock has been kaputs too, so, so we're, why is it always like quarter to two? No, it just doesn't have batteries. So we got some batteries. I kind of want to like get all of these. Like this is hurricane, like if hurricane season's coming, it's not a bad idea to just stock up on discounted batteries. We're in Pier 1 now and I got called to this sign and it got better and better because I saw this chicken and then I saw this llama. And then I saw this flower-powered donkey. Look at the quizzical look this donkey is giving too. We're just debating on what we're gonna do because we have two hours to kill. It's like not worth going back home. <sighs> but luckily this is like a cool fancy strip. That's super cute. I love that. It kind of goes Wait. with our theme a little bit. Yeah, again, we're in like places that we haven't been in a while, so we're like, yeah, we're in real world stuff and I just lost my flip flop. Alright, we're kind of hopping all over today. But we're at this new place, well this place we new to us, called Noodles World Kitchen. And I think Sarah's going to get the Japanese pan noodles with chicken. Well, I was you can't get it without me and then I get... A side Caesar. I'm going to get this new zucchini noodle because I'm really intrigued by the zucchini noodles. I'm going to get the zucchini romasco. And then I might go donate blood. There's a there's a there's a blood donation truck outside. I just have to see. It's the same system that I use at work, so they should be able to see. They'll probably they'll be able to see. Um, the last time I donated, I'm you've never donated before. I know, but I just donated a lot of blood with all my testing at the fertility specialist. So like now that I know I can give it, give many vials. Okay, I got your ID, so we're good. Let's let's get food then and then go so we don't pass out. We got these cool things, and if you download the app. They're gonna give us a free giant Rice Krispie treat. So Sarah's phone is chugging along. She downloaded the app and she got herself a Rice Krispie treat. If you've never had a Rice Krispie treat before, if you don't live in a place that has them, Google it, buy the, in the ingredients from Amazon because they ship worldwide and make it because it's super tasty. How is it? Dog's homemade. So good. Alrighty, here are my Japanese noodles. My little side salad. Here. Zucchini. Zoodles. Is that what they're called? That's noodles. what people call them. Zucchini noodles. I'm, I'm nervous about trying them. Why? They're going to be delicious. Okay. If you don't like them, we can switch. I like zucchini though. Bon appetit. Should we pull a see you real soon and say, now you see it, now you don't. The zoodles, the zucchini noodles were really good, but they were literally just like long zucchinis cut, like each piece had zucchini skin. It looks like it's just like a them. spiralizer. Right, that's all it is. I thought it was like processed and like re-smashed in the noodles. <laughs> it was still good. I loved it. Yeah. I love pesto. We're gonna go donate blood. I tried to donate blood. Sarah's never done it before, and I don't think I think I donated like six weeks ago. I think you have to wait eight weeks. Maybe I'll do plasma. We'll see. We'll go talk to them. That's your current address right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm three weeks short of being able, or two and a half weeks short of being able to donate. Which kind of works out because right as we were about to get set up, Sarah's actually going to donate. It'll be the first time she fully donates. So that's cool. Um, but Petco called Sarah and said that Eve's ready to go. So here's the Petco. I got to find our car and grab our leash because they take your leash and collar off and everything to give you your own. So that didn't take 
that didn't take, it took just under two hours. So they said two to three hours. Oh my gosh, who is this dog? Eve, come look at the camera. Come say hi to your fans. She looks younger. She looks like a baby. And I guess it was hard for us to see, but I guess she has real bad, like, dry skin. So they gave us, we talked about like the food she's on and talked about a hot oil treatment. We'll probably, we may even give her another bath tonight because she's, there's a lot of dander going on. I'm surprised it was that much. But it makes sense, she has been itching lately. Calm down, I think she's freaking out because I think she really wants to see Sarah and doesn't understand why Sarah's not around. She keeps looking at everybody like, Sarah, Sarah? Who do I see? <gasps> you see who I see? Look who it is! Hi! <laughs> Doesn't she look like a whole different dog? How do you feel? Hi. She's really mad at me. Why? I think she, because she's mad about the haircut. It's the shortest we've ever gotten a cut. <laughs> you feel good? Yeah. Good. Do you want a cookie? I do want a cookie. Welcome to our family time. We're at Epcot Center. It's than it seems. I like. I got my sunglasses on. It's just an Epcot kind of Saturday. What should we do tonight? Well, we're gonna hit up DVC Lounge, of course. We need snacks, coffee, and um, peach strawberry cream soda. And then we don't know. Uh, do we don't like my face? These are serious Epcot ears. We're still testing them. I just want to break the news to you all because many of you are loving and supporting fans of this shirt. We have to do some research after today to see if we can get these two light stains out. They look like they're from like rain runoff from a backpack or like shorts, like the dye from khakis. We'll figure it out. So we're gonna they see. Also, it has, also hasn't been dried. It has been ironed. I was in so the middle of ironing try. it and I noticed it and I was like, ooh, because like heat will lock in stains. So if you know any stain tricks, let us know down <laughs> below because we don't want to lose this shirt because I honestly don't remember, we got it from Target I think like three years ago. Two, three, two. So two. I don't even know if we could replace this. Okay, the first stop was supposed to be the, the DVC Lounge, but look, they have sour cream and chive back, so we're getting in line. That guy's got to eat to the beach shirt on. Food and wine's just around the corner, I feel. What? That guy's got to eat to the beach shirt on. It just has me thinking and feeling and grooving all the, all the good things. I'm so excited because we, one, remembered our popcorn bucket. Two, I don't uh, have any change in the bag. Chive is back. And we're here before the lounge closes. So we're just really going to probably not do a thing for the next hour. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. First reaction. It's super good. Yeah? So Do you like it more thing, than the buffalo? Yes. But this kind of flavor is more my thing. This kind of flavor is more my thing than, than buffalo. Buffalo is probably more Sarah's thing. Yeah. But I do love chai yeah. and sour cream. Agreed. We're back. Ooh, look at all these people. I have not seen a crowd like this surpassing the seating. This this size ever, but Eat to the Beat, probably the closest last year. But uh who is it again? It's village, the village. It's the village people. So it's a it's a good it's a good band. I bet you people are just waiting for the YMCA. Yeah. But literally like there's maybe seven rows of guests past the the seating into like the, the walking area. Smell the smokehouse right now. Oh. And it's so hard just to walk past it. I, we haven't said yet if we're gonna get it again before it's gone. But we kind of had a lackluster experience compared to Cole. Look how big they made his. That's unreal. It's unridiculously large. Look at how little mine is. That is, that's a meal right there. The last time we got it. And uh, if you haven't realized yet, we're halfway through World Showcase. But we're just relaxing. I have a timer on my watch to tell us to go back to Germany because I don't know if you've seen the, I forgot what they're called, like the something Alps, the three guys from Germany. Sarah hasn't actually like experienced them. I've only watched them once. So they're a really good time. I don't know when they started, but I feel like they're just gaining a lot of popularity in like the theme park world. And they are great. So when my watch goes off, we're gonna turn around and head back.
Well, that was awesome. That was just I, I forget that it's so short, but it is such an enjoyable show. And a little bit of crowd interaction, just pure talent, pure goofiness. Um, but now we're, we're gonna resume our, our World Showcase Lagoon tour. Oh, low and slow, as Ramon from Cars would say. Low and slow. The music continues. Was that not the most amazing double set of music ever? We got our, our Morocco water, and I, I don't know if we've discussed this yet, but we kind of have a unspoken rule about the night at Epcot, and we dictate it by these two booths here. This is an ice cream and crepe. This is a champagne and wine. And you kind of can dictate the crowd on what line is longer, depending around like the seven o'clock time. And they, they both have their pros and cons to a, a champagne kind of night or a crepe kind of night. And we're going early enough where all the seating in the by the water is not closed like it was last week. Prime real estate just got purchased by one Sarah and Peter Burkhardt. One hour later. I don't think it was an hour, but it was probably like, what, 40 minutes? Yeah. I think I actually took a little bit of a nap. Did we take a time lapse or nothing? We didn't do nothing. But is it truly a trip to Epcot? Without some Beverly! Really cool shirt on the internet, and it was like club pools, and it had like all the squares, like nine. Really cute. With the with those things on them? Yeah. Oh, can you get that for me for my birthday? So it begins. We had a little jump in time, because sometimes you just need a night home with your newly shaved puppy, and you're in the mood. For some Christmas movies. It's just one of those nights. We want to get in our jammies, we want to put on one of our favorite Christmas movies, and just kind of relax for the night and make sure our puppy's okay from the trauma that she was in she with has today. Dry skin. She got dry skin, but she also she also has never had a haircut like this before. She only had one other haircut in her entire life and it was more like a trim. It wasn't anything like this. So we're gonna relax the rest of the night. This is our new puppy, <laughs> Everson, formerly known as Eve. Look how tired Eve looks, even. We realize that we think she's part of Chihuahua, too. Look at these ears. It's kind of mixed with something. Yeah. It's not all pump. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>